With the playing tournament upon us and the NBA playoffs around the corner, it's only fitting that we look into the biggest X factors for each playoff team and remaining playing teams. These X factors could be players, aspect of a team such as three point shooting, etc. But the bottom line here is that they could make or break a team's playoff run in 2024. Before we begin, be sure to leave a like on the video as each like makes a massive difference for the channel. Be sure to sub to the channel for even more content like this. For the Milwaukee Bucks, it's pretty simple. They go as Damian Lillard goes. The Bucks are an outstanding 17-3 when Dame scores 30 plus points, but are just 31-22 when he scores under 30 and are just 11-11 when he scores less than 20 points. You could point to the 20 points and 30 points as arbitrary marks, but the Bucks need Dame to be Dame in order to mask the glaring issues of this team. They're not a great defensive squad as their 19th in defensive rating, they haven't been in the best form as of late as they lost 3 straight games to the Wizards, Grizzlies, and Raptors in April and got blown out in the season finale. They have a coach notorious for not making playoff adjustments and they'll more than likely start the series without Giannis due to injury. Dame has shown that he can still put up benches performances like he did against the Suns where he put up 30 plus points and 10 plus assists without Giannis even playing, but he also has games where he heavily underperformed like in the 2 for 14 performance he had against Orlando Magic in that season finale. If Dame doesn't step up, this will indeed be a colossal failure of a season for the Bucks. Next up, we have the Boston Celtics, and I picked Drew Holiday. You could have easily picked Porzingis here, but Holiday has been more of a playoff wildcard. Despite being a defensive presence, Holiday struggled mightily from the field in the 2022 and 2023 playoffs. In 2022, he shot just 38% from the field and 32% from three, and in 2023, he shot just 40% from the field and 29% from three. The Celtics have been the best team all season as the best offense and second best defense, but when teams have to deal with the Celtics' weapons, the poison they're going to pick is leaving Drew Holiday open, just like teams did in the past in the playoffs. But if Holiday is knocking down those shots, the Celtics could be close to unbeatable. For similar reasons, I picked Josh Giddy as the X Factor for the OKC Thunder. The Thunder are the first seed in the Western Conference, and like the Celtics, are an elite offense and defense with an All-NBA player in Shea, an incredible sophomore in J-Dub, a defensive presence and soon-to-be runner-up for Rookie of the Year in Shets, and good support pieces. But again, teams are going to leave Giddy open as a scheme against the Thunder since he's just a 34% outside shooter. To his credit, he has hit 37% of his threes and has averaged 16 points, 7 assists and 8 rebounds over his last 15 games. And if he's doing that, the Thunder have a good chance of making a deep playoff run. Sticking with the Western Conference, the biggest X factor for the reigning champion Denver Nuggets is Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon was invaluable to the Nuggets' 2023 run as he was tasked with guarding LeBron James, Carl Anthony Towns, and Kevin Durant and did as good of a job as he could. Fittingly enough, the Nuggets and Lakers will be squaring off in the first round again and the Nuggets will inevitably meet the best the West has to offer as they advance. The Nuggets are my pick to actually repeat as champions and since I'm certain that Jokic, Murray, KCP, and others will show up, Gordon being at his best defensively will be a big catalyst in them accomplishing just that. Right below the Nuggets in the standings is the Minnesota Timberwolves, and I feel that their X Factors are both Jaden McDaniels and Carl Anthony Towns. The reason I picked Jaden McDaniels is for the defensive matchups he'll be assigned to right off the bat in the playoffs. He'll be tasked with trying to slow down Kevin Durant in the first round, and even offensively, the T-Wolves look like a completely different team when he's involved. Moreover, I feel that Cat is a co-X factor here because the Timberwolves desperately need a big scoring punch in these playoffs. Even though they're the best defense in the league, overcoming a bottom 10 offense is a difficult task and they'll need Cat to be at his best to keep up with teams like the Thunder, Clippers, Nuggets, Mavs, and Suns who are all top 10 offenses. Despite having a turbulent season, the Phoenix Suns seem to be clicking at the right time as they're 7-3 over the last 10 games and have won 3 straight games to get the succeed in the Western Conference. 
Just as importantly though, Bradley Beal has been the real deal. Averaging 19 points, 5 assists and 6 rebounds in that stretch, on 56% shooting and 65% from 3, and exploded with 36 points on 67% shooting against the Timberwolves to clinch the 6th seed. I feel like Beal is the X factor for the Suns because despite all of their issues, they look like one of the most dangerous teams in the league when he, Booker and KD are all performing. The Lakers recently punched their ticket to the NBA playoffs, where well, they'll meet the Denver Nuggets again. And even though they have a very slim chance of an upset, the Lakers can be dangerous if D'Angelo Russell is cooking. Against the Nuggets, despite being swept last year, all of LeBron, Reeves, Rui, and Davis all performed. D'Angelo Russell did not averaging just 6 points and making only 2 threes in the entire series. The Lakers were just 25-22 and 22 when D'Lo scored less than 20 points in the regular season, but went an incredible 20-6 and six when he scored over 20. Being a key floor spacer as a catch-and-shoot threat, a playmaker, and much-needed help when teams key in on LeBron James and Anthony Davis in the playoffs. Wrapping up the Western Conference, we have the Clippers and Mavs heading against each other and their X-Factors are going to be Russell Westbrook and PJ Washington. This series is most definitely going to be 6 or 7 games and these two will play a big role in swinging it. Russ is a big tone setter for this team and will have to defend Kyrie Irving in the series since the primary focus will be on Luka Doncic. And we all saw last year how great defensively he was against the Phoenix Suns despite having to defend different threats. And he'll most definitely be the motor for this team in this series. As for PJ, the Mavs need great defensive help on the wings to try to tame two of the best wings of the past decade. The Mavs aren't looking for him to shut down Kawhi and PG because that would literally be impossible, but limiting them in this series while also contributing offensively could win them this series. Finally, one of the Pelicans or Kings will have the 8th seed in the Western Conference to take on the OKC Thunder, and their X-Factors are Zion Williamson and Keegan Murray respectively. Simply put, the Pels are a deep team that are in another level when Zion is being the dominant wrecking ball that he's shown to be throughout his career and what he showed against the Lakers before going down in the play-in. Against the OKC, a team with some questions in the front courts, the only way the Pels have a shot is if Zion is the All-NBA player he showed to be in the regular season. On that note, the Kings will only have a chance if Keegan Murray can be the valuable floor spacer and offensive piece for his team since both Kevin Herter and Malik Monk are out. He's proven that he can step up to the plate as he was vital in their 2023 campaign and also recently eliminating the Golden State Warriors in the play-in. Now, back to the Eastern Conference, we'll start off with the Orlando Magic, but their X factor is their three-point shooting. The Magic take the second fewest threes in the league, shoot bottom 10% at just 35% and given that in reality teams are going to dare the magic to shoot and sag off in order to close off their work in the paint the magic needs to knock down those available shots in the playoffs in order to reach their playoff ceiling and at the same time the Cavs need Jared Allen and Max Strews to show up we all saw the memes of the lights were too bright for Jared Allen last year against the Knicks, but he has to bring it defensively and on the boards to counteract the frontcourt depth of the Eastern Conference, and the Cavs also need Struess to be that dependable wing that can stretch the floor and defend on the perimeter. The New York Knicks have had a storied season despite their injuries and are still a team that should be feared out in the Eastern Conference. With that being said, their X Factor, at least in my opinion, is OG Ananobi for the wreckage that he can cause defensively on the wings. OG has the versatility to take on any defensive assignment which is necessary against the Tatums, Browns, and Jimmy Butlers of the world, and even offensively, his value as an off-ball scoring threat has proven pivotal for this team. For both the Pacers and Sixers, I'm going with Halliburton and the Sixers role players. When Tyrese Halliburton was healthy, the Pacers were extremely difficult to tame because he is their engine. And if he's healthy, the Bucks will have a lot to worry about in round one. And for the Sixers, they were literally a top three team in the East earlier in the season when Embiid was averaging a 35 point double double. Tyrese Maxey is also awesome, but we can never be so sure about the rest of the guys. Buddy Heald can't have the shooting slump that he had towards the end of the season, and both Tobias Harris and Kelly Oubre have to knock down shots that will be available to them as defenses key in on the Sixers' stars. 
Wrapping up the Eastern Conference, we had the Miami Heat and Chicago Bulls. Two teams that will meet again in a playing tournament game like they did in 2023. And the winner of that game obviously gets the AFC to challenge the Boston Celtics. For these two teams, I think the X Factors are Terry Rozier and Kobe White. The Heat are a bottom 10 offense and really need Rozier to be the scoring presence that can alleviate some of the pressure off of Jimmy Butler. Kobe White has been streaky this season, but has proven to be great in what's been his best season up to date. Quite honestly, he, Io, and DeRozan need to be at their best to beat the Heat in that 8-9 matchup. Regardless of the outcome, I'm very excited about these upcoming NBA playoffs, and we'll be keeping you posted with playoff coverage as well. With that being said, let me know your thoughts on who the biggest X Factor is for each team in the comment section down below. Do you agree or disagree with my picks? Be sure to let me know. Be sure to leave a like on the video as each like makes a massive difference for the channel, and be sure to sub to the channel for more content like this. Hope to see you all in the next one and stay tuned.